Welcome to Sagebrush Soul. Today we're going to light up my motorcycle hitch carrier. A few months back I unboxed and assembled this direct aftermarket motorcycle hitch carrier. I got it to haul my old Honda around on the booty of my truck and or RV. For safety and awesomeness I decided to add some LED stop tail and turn lights. And installing those is what we're doing today. First I wanted to do a quick review of this hitch carrier and here it is. After a few thousand miles, it works. Good. I found these gems on Amazon. I stare at them for a while before mocking them up to visualize how friggin' cool they're gonna look here. I mean here. No, here. I measured a center point to drill a hole for the wires to go into the frame. After drilling, I sit back and admire my work. Then I test to make sure the hole is properly centered. It is, but it isn't big enough so I use some movie magic to make it bigger. Then I'll fish the wires into the frame of the carrier so I can make a pilot hole for the self-tapping screws I'll use to secure it. I know it seems redundant to make a pilot hole for a screw that taps itself, but inevitably the dang things always walk on me so I clamped it in place and drilled the hole. Then I install the self-tapper and whoops! Bad clamp. Bad. No. Drop it. Drop it. That a boy. Good clamp. After I drive the screw home, I awkwardly caress the edge of the light and carrier to make sure it's flush before driving the next screw. After both lights are mocked up, I undo everything I did and take off one of the side rails so I can run the wire. But first, I drill a hole here for the wire from the trailer plug to go into and install a grommet to protect it. Does anyone else feel a little uncomfortable right now? I bet subscribing will make you feel better. Then I thread a string of bonded trailer wire into the frame and catch it with my patented snake tool. To show you the trailer wiring, we'll go to the chalkboard that I misspell things on because Photoshop doesn't spell check. I run a tail and ground wire to each end of the carrier, then a left signal wire to the left side and a right to the right. Way to go, Captain Obvious. Because these wires were not going to be accessible after the install, I used solder and shrink tube to attach them to the lights. Then I wired the wires that I wired to a trailer plug and boom, it's done. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Kenny, this is Sagebrush Soul, and may the best of your past be the worst of your future.